Okay, welcome to a, another video on 2D, 2D Vector Edition. So we're gonna go through some more practice examples. This will really help to uh, cement our feelings as to Vector Edition. Now, let's have a go at this question. I would encourage you to have a go at it before we do. So the first step, remember step one, step one is to decompose vectors, right? Decompose vectors. So let's decompose both of our vectors here. I have this one and I have this one. And so I'm gonna decompose my vector here. I can say that this is my adjacent, this is my opposite, and this 40 is my hypotenuse. I can say that sine 30 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, opposite is equal to 40 sine 30. I could leave it as 40 sine 30, or I could also convert it into a decimal. Um, it doesn't matter, 20 meters. Let me do the adjacent one. So cosine 30 is equal to adjacent over 40. I can say that my adjacent is equal to 40 cosine 30 is equal to uh, 34.6 meters. And let me write that onto my thing here, 34.6. This one is 20. Let's do the same thing for this one. Let's um, let's uh, decompose it. So we can say that there are again two pieces here. This would be my adjacent. This would be my opposite. So we can say that opposite. Uh, I can say that it is going to be sine 60 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite is equal to 70 sine 60. Or I can convert that, 61 meters. Cosine 60 is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is equal to 70 cos 60, which is equal to 35. So we can put that here, 35 meters. 61 meters. And now we're ready for the second step. So the second step is to um, add together the components. So we can do a sigma x, right? We can do a sigma x. I'm gonna have, we're gonna add this one. And we're gonna add this one. This is just normal vector addition. What's this gonna be? Or well, it's gonna be uh, 34.5 plus 35 is gonna be 69.6 meters towards the right there. Sigma y, we can do similarly, right? Sigma y we can do similarly. So we can add this one, this blue one, plus this one. Um, probably not the scale, we need to stretch that one a bit. <laughs> now, this is, now this one's a bit tricky, right? Because they're not in the same direction. So remember when we add vectors that aren't in the same direction, what do we do? What do we always do? We always do tip the tail, right? So I'm gonna have this one here, add that to the tail of this one. This is the tip. Let's match it to the tail of this one like that. And what can we see? We can see that the resultant vector is gonna be downwards um, just by, so 20, this is equal to 20 minus 61, is equal to minus 41 meters. It's 41 meters downwards. Great. Now, now that we have this, now that we know that the, of the final vector, it's 41 meters downwards and it's 69 meters towards the right, we can now begin to do step three, which is the add the X and Y components, X plus y components. So let's add these components together. So we have 69.6 meters towards the left, and then we have another 41 meters down. So again, we add them tip to tail, just like we do when we add, um, just like we do when, when we add um, perpendicular vectors. So then what we have, we, well, we have it like this, 
and then we want to do it like this. That's our resultant, that's our angle. And so I can say that the resultant there, the resultant is equal to 41 squared plus 69.6 squared. This is just by Pythagoras. Tan theta is equal to the opposite of a adjacent. The theta is equal to 10 inverse of my 41 over 69.6, which is going to give me um, 31 degrees. And that's our final answer. 81 meters at 31 degrees. So 81 meters at 31 degrees below horizontal. I hope you guys enjoyed. Check out the next video for vector addition subtraction. I'll see you soon. Bye. We offer physics, chemistry, and math tutoring. For more insightful explanations like this one, head to tutorgum.com.